Well, it's finally time. It's finally time to make the engine cowling for Frankenstein. I've been thinking about this and looking forward to this part in particular, the entire build. Mainly because I, I'm not quite sure exactly if I can do what I want to do. I've got a few ideas and a few things that's been bouncing around in the back of my head for years now. Um, what is it, eight years I've been building this thing? So it's been, I've been thinking about it that long. <laughs> anyway, so there's a few ideas that I'd love to try out and I'm not sure if I can actually pull it off. So um, best way to find out is when we have a go, hey. First off, I've got to get the dimensions of this edge here. That goes all the way around the, the three sides. So down the bottom there, that'll be a cutout where the air will pass through because it's air cooled. Uh, there is a firewall here. I've got it drilled off, but there's no need for it right now. So that'll come later. Um, so yeah, it'll. I'll end up with um, anchor points in this skin here and then the skin, the, the cowling will sit on top of that and fasten onto that. So we have to get the outside dimension of that pretty accurately, especially this corner here, this, this corner and this one. That has to be pretty close to being spot on. And obviously remember this is curved as well. So see, you can sort of, it goes straight down because the longerons is actually a 90 degree bend, but then it curves back out and then back in again. So we've got a funky shape going on in there we need to match, as well as the top curve as well. So yes, outside, not just the inside. I, I had the firewall out and I took a template off that, but there's a gap between the edge of the firewall and where the skin touches, plus the skin thickness. So you're better off just to get an outside dimension and you'll be more accurate. So that's what we've done here. This is, this is the base of our buck, and that is the dimension of that over there. So then the skin, when I make it, can touch this edge here, and we'll be pretty darn close to screwing it onto that. So that's the, that's the base. I wanna make it pretty solid, because I'll probably, yes I will be, I'll be bashing metal on the buck as well as just shaping it with the English wheel. So I've got some other pieces here, and um, now we'll start, now that I've got the firewall and the base, now I can start building up the shape of it and what's in my head, which I haven't quite nailed down yet. Uh, yeah, watch this space. We'll make it up as we go. The things I need to consider while I'm doing this is, uh, those, those blocks there represent about where the propeller will end. Well, it's actually 20 millimeters sh um, shorter of the propeller, so there'll be a gap there. So the, the engine cowling will come past there. Um, air intake up the top here, obviously, and then it'll mount up onto the wall, onto the firewall. And down underneath here, where the carburetor is, I've still got to get a, um, an air box set up here. And I've got a big air filter out of a Cessna 182, which is quite big. So I've got to consider where that's going to go, probably in here somewhere, and then a box that, that'll mount onto that. And then of course the cowling's going to match it all. And then whether I have st um, the doors that open on the side like a super carb, or whether I have just a, a screw on cowling that sits on top and one underneath, all these things I've got to come up with yet, which I haven't quite decided on. But I figured we might as well start and get the, the thinking juices flowing and see where it leads us, I suppose. Hmm, thinking, thinking, thinking. So that's the middle of the buck. So I've, driven, I've drawn in um, extra little things there to represent certain positions of the engine. So I know if I miss them, that'll cover the whole engine. And this is about where we're at. So bottom of the carburetor, I've got to make an air box yet. 
and that's the exhaust so that's that bit um, that's the ring gear so that's that bit and up the top there that piece there is the top of the engine mount so that's that bit there so we're missing all of those things and it's about the shape that I sort of figured would work um, down here is that's the bottom of the firewall and I'm making it a little bit wider because we're going to have a well the exit air has to come out here so so that's the theory I have there now that I have that middle piece and that'll go in the middle here I can work out the sides uh, for the buck so, so it's got to clear the cylinders and because the engine is sitting a little bit cackeyed in there for thrust and all of that sort of stuff um, it actually sticks out from the fireball a little bit on both sides, so we'll have to encapsulate that as well. So uh, that's the next trick. Looks a little bit weird, but um, that's the basis of the buck turning 3D, I suppose. So we've got the centerpiece in the middle here, giving us the, the overall dimensions of around like that. And now we have to worry about clearing the cylinders and all that sort of stuff. So that's where we're at here. So those two bits, and yes, you can see it sticks out a bit from the firewall because the engine's cack-eyed a little. Uh, it would have been tight anyway, but anyway, there we go. You can see also that I'll probably, um, I just did a quick measurement and this is where the outside cylinder over there is getting close to that. So I'm gonna add another 10 mil of um, buck onto that as well just to give me a bit of clearance there like like that one so um, we'll add a little bit of that now I've got to work on the front piece so so that'll go I uh, need to worry about this piece that joins in here and then we'll worry about the front part uh, so that's what this is all about so I don't know it's a bit hard to describe and it's, a, it's all in my head only just my head hurts from thinking so, but anyway, that's where we're at. I also added a little bit extra down here also. So um, just to open up that area a little bit for the um, for the filter and the carburetor and all of that sort of jazz and then um, air exit out of the back. Hmm, getting there. Okay, working on the front. So that's your air intake that I'm starting. So uh, I'll just continue with the supports around this way. Um, the idea is the skin's going to come along and wrap around this, so that's why I've just started to radius that now. And that'll be radiused all the way around. So the skin will wrap around and go back in, sort of like a Cessna 180 engine cowling. Sort of like the old school intake. Uh, and then this will be um, cut out, so there's an intake here. That'll go to your carburetor and all cooler. And I've got, so part of the bits is on that'll go in like that another on this side and then we'll build it in so I can form that piece as well progress well that's about it I've um, that's your cutout for the intake a little radius box in there I've got to trim it all down yet and that's your air intake uh, and then into the sides there so now we've just got to um, trim it all and shape it all up, round all the edges off so all of this intake will have rounded edges and everything. So um, not quite done making a mess. So nearly there though. Okay, the buck's ready to go. So I've got it sitting up on the bench again now. Oh, it's big. It's gonna be a thing. Okay, so orientation. We're looking at the top down at the moment. So that's the firewall and that's the top and that's the intake. So I've dressed all the edges up. And so rounded it all off. So the metal's gonna go along and wrap around. That's the theory anyway. So um, all of the bits, that's the side there and going down to the bottom of the of the cowl like that and that's the air intake so it'll have a bit of a 
bit of a mouth opening. So that's all radiused around. So the idea is the skin's gonna go over here and I'm just gonna use this buck to actually form the metal in situ. That's why it's out of thicker material. Um, Cause normally I think, I don't know if you see bucks made, um, the, it's quite thin and shapy and all of that. So the metal only sits on it. Whereas here I wanna actually use the buck to beat the metal into places. So, so like all of this is gonna get formed in situ and the, and the intake up the front here is gonna get formed in there as well. And that's the bottom of it. And um, yeah, so I think the plan will be to um, start at the bottom skins and work my way up to the front because that's how the, it's gonna look on the airframe anyway. So this, this skin will overlay that one and like that. Um, the reasons why I've made these, these frames where they are is like these main ones here. So that one there, no, it's not so much that one, but it will. And then that one there, that'll be the front part of the cow where the, most of the shape will be. Um, the top skin will wrap around to this edge here and then the bottom skin's gonna go like that. So now as a matter of, um, I've got a bit of an idea, but we'll have to start planning how the metal goes on here and how, how we can use this cowling and, and these marks here to work out how I can pull the skin, the, the cowling off. So the top half comes off and the bottom half comes off for maintenance. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, this will be a start. We could add to this a bit more as we go with the thing with more ideas that'll pop in. Um, but this is a good start. Um, time to clean up the shed and the gigantic mess I've created. And then we'll uh, get some metal and start forming. So that'll be, um, that'll be in the next video. So, but it could take me a while to clean the shed out a bit. Anyway, that's that. Next thing will be metal bashing. Yes!